Welcome back to Mill YouTube Bites. This part solutions forestry. My name's Bill. Uh, we got Jesse Key's main roof done for his timber frame. I'll show you some of these beautiful one by twelve planks, and then I have one by tens and one by eights uh, to do his timber frame roof and cover the inside of the structure structure so he can start drying that in. Also, um, his roof's eighteen feet long. 16 foot over structure and then a foot on each side eaves he wants to run a full plank vertical in the eaves so he asked me to cut them like something 12 13 14 inches wide 10 feet long uh, so he can put four pieces in basically and cover the eaves so you have a nice seamless look up the eaves there won't be any boards going sideways so i picked the log out this morning that i believe is going to work size wise to give me like a 14 inch cant so i'm looking to get him four one by 14s at like i'm going to make him at like 10 foot six i think i i can't remember i might have cut the log at 10 foot eight but right around there um and i'm going to ship him with this order too so that he has his whole roof he's not coming back to the beginning of the week here he's out in western mass working on something and um when he comes back, this will all be here for him so he can go get the roof put on that thing and uh, start drying it in. So let me show you what we got for a log. We also got some new mechanics sent me a new pair of gloves. So this is the log on the mill. It's a fairly big white pine log. It's a pretty fresh cut log. I'll show you these mechanics gloves before we get into it. These are prototypes though. Um, and what they did was they took the glove that I was wearing before that I like so much, but I wore through the fingers really quick, and they put the same leather on the fingers for me as the Husqvarna technical gloves that I wear. Uh, they make them for Husqvarna. So they asked me to try these out, let them know what I think, and we're going to try these out today. But here's the log here. I don't know why people like to do dimensions on these things, but I'll do you a quick dimensioning segment here. The only part about these gloves that's going to be a little bit of a pain is they fit so good, they're kind of hard to get on and off. And I got Danny hunting chipmunks out here with me. It was kind of threatening rain a little while ago, and I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get out here, but now it looks okay, so it's a little windy. I apologize for any wind noise. So this is 22 inside the bark, and about um, 23 this way inside the bark. It's going to be pretty heavy to turn. Um, I'm running the same Stella Cup band that I've been running. Now, we ran... Well, uh, we ran about 500 board feet for him in roofing, and uh, I did cut something else with it. I think it was a 6x6 six six white oak beam, so this one's starting to get a little bit of time on it as far as, uh, you know, getting out to like... I don't know, six, seven hundred board feet or something like that after a sharpening. Uh, we're going to, my goal on this log is to get a 14 inch cant. Uh, I'm not going to map anything out. I'm just going to go to town. I'm going to get this bad chunk off the top. I did trim it up with the chainsaw a little bit. We'll get this bad chunk off the top. It'll make it a little lighter. We'll see if we're man enough to turn it. I'm going to almost doubt it. I'm, I'm going to doubt that I'm man enough to turn this by hand. We're going to find out, though. <coughs> One thing that I am finding, and there's nothing that I can do about it right now because I have to move the whole log to do it, is that the log turns... Oh, look at that. Okay, well, it's steady. Yeah, it's tight there. The log really wants to be kind of hitting on these rollers when it's turning. Uh, you don't want this real high so that it's just turning against this. You really kind of want on the rollers, but also they turn a lot easier when they got no bark on them. 
but we will give it a shot and uh, let's see how we make out with this thing. I just, it's the only log I'm going to cut today. I'm not feeling great. So I want to get this off somewhere around, uh, I think I'm going to make my first cut about 20 inches high and then we'll see what happens. Anything else out of this log, I'm going to, I, uh, because it's obviously it's going to have a lot more material than just this four planks. I'm going to cut some planks from my door of my shed and, uh, possibly I'll break some down into battens too. I already started amassing battens over on the sawhorses over here out of stuff I had lying around, but we'll probably cut some out of this too. So let's get to cutting and let's see what happens. And see how long it takes us to wreck these mechanics gloves. So it's not a horrible spot. It's going to cut the knobs off it. It's probably going to miss a couple spots, but let's go ahead and do that first. We'll see how this band's cutting too. <laughs> And if you do get into wanting a mill, really max logs on one of these mills, you got to remember too, even though we're manual, you can do the old uh, mini turn, mini turn, mini turn, turn it into an octagon thing if you want. You could go ahead and turn this log uh, instead of, you know, like maybe even instead of 45 degrees, even less, like 20 or 30 degrees to dog it off and take a skim cut off the side, you could whittle this log down if it was way too big for the milk. Uh, I am going to come down a full inch. There's a couple of big crack checks in this one when they dropped it. It's not going to affect the, uh, it's not going to affect the overall size of the can. I'm nowhere close to my can size yet. This water gun. I'm going to come down to 19, take a chop off it. I'm going to throw this one off at the jump piece. Right now I am getting a few waves with that band. I'm going to take another inch off it and go down to 18. There's no sense in me stopping right now until I get to like 14 wide. And I'll be able to cut battens out of anything I use. This one's a pretty good plank. I'm going to throw this one up on the sawhorses. Try to chill out and not just go with this like a maniac today. That band's, it's cutting okay, but it's not cutting beautiful. So I've got to be careful of that. I don't want to push at it too hard and I don't want to, it's not feeling good enough to go at it like a maniac today. Looks like I'm closing in on wide enough. So I think I can go ahead and flip this thing. 
So I will let you watch me try to flip it. Shut this thing down. I might even, I might even only go 90 degrees with this, guys. You never see me do that, but if I could get, if I could have some way of measuring whether I'm square or not, I would. It's just really hard. To 90 degrees. Feel confident that you're square. Get my log dog assist ready to go here. Uh, that cut that it just made was pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Beautiful wood. You'll see it when I flip it. I was kind of hoping that this would be like a one hour job today. I have no idea what this is sitting on right now, but I know one thing. I don't want it to roll back on me. No idea what I'm hitting on. Hitting on something hard. So, one thing's for sure. Oh, I see. I'm hitting on that knot. I'm just going to take a little finagling. I don't think that my stops are lined up either. We'll see if we can rectify that a little later. Let's see if I can get it turned. It's not that heavy. It's just it's binding up on something. assist in it. This would be a great candidate for only going 90 degrees. The hardest thing here is trying to figure out because I don't have like a framing square with me. You know what? I might have one. Let me see if I can look at it's it's tough it's tough to get a reference on this right now when you turn it this way to make sure you're 90. Looks like I do have enough sticking out here to where I might be able to check it. So it's got to turn a little more. Yep, just a little bit though. I think I might try it like this and see if I can cut it like that. So only got to turn a little bit. Oh, left my PV over here. That definitely keeps the size of the log down if you can do this. And it cuts down on your turns. Okay, so that would be it right there. So it feels like it's coming to rest at 90 degrees. Let's check that. I right, come all the way around again. Now, here's the kicker. For rough sawn lumber, am I close enough right now? Definitely, I don't even have to check it. It's actually perfect. Um, so that is another part to this is, are you just doing, checking it to be kind of over anal about it? I would say it's not perfect, but it's really close and it's probably close enough for uh, government work right now this so well, let's go ahead and blow the top off I'll get the dog down and then our at least our uh, square checking will be over so let's see how high we got to go now So it's going to be somewhere around 19. Feeling really good about the cant size anyway. Let's try that. This does cut down uh, how much stick out you need on your uh, adjustable blade guide too. I'm going to come up one inch to 20. I'm going to try it there. Ah, I did it. 
If that saw band would have come out of the wood, I would have pulled it out and started over. That was just a, that was dumb. I should have stuck with my gut. So the big question is whether I just want to go to 18 right now. He's walking all over the place too. 19 is not going to be a great cut. It's not going to be a good board. So it's probably better to go to 19 and then maybe I can steal one down to 18. Much better cut. Now I'll go down to 18. And all this stuff I'm throwing off the mill will get used as battens. See what we look like now. Get this one up there to be edged in the battens. How close are we getting to no Wayne over here? Oh, I could steal one more board there. Actually, it looks like, looks like, looks like, if I cut a board out of this, how wide is it going to be? Uh, 13, 13, where's the thinnest point? 12, it's just too thin. So, I'm going to take one more out of it. It'll end up being battens. It's almost close enough to, to become a board for him. Let's take one more out of it, and then we'll flip it 90 degrees. So, we're just going to go right to 17. I'll use it for battens just so I can keep my numbers straight in my mind. So I'm shooting for 14, but 13 would work. So 13 would still be fine. I think they're a foot, but he was asking for 13, 12 to 13. So I'm shooting for 14, but 13 would still be good. Now I'm looking real good. I'm out to 15 clear, 15 clear right now. So as long as the other side cooperates, we're going to end up with a cant that's somewhere around 15 inches-ish. And I kind of like this whole just kind of rolling it 90 thing. I might do this more often. Just you can check the square would be to um, bring
bring your, your sawmill up and then put a frame and square on the side and check it against the band. You can see if you square that way too. I think from turning it down here, I think is better. Uh, we're going to find out. Oh, shit. This is, the, this is where the problem starts here. I'm trying to get it. I wonder if I can roll it from the other side. Ooh, and I wasn't thinking about. Uh, no. Nope. I'm going to have to try to try to beat it in the wall here. That'll be a good spot if I get that. Maybe the bike right there. Yep. I think so. All right. Let's try it right here. All right. It kind of rested funny. I wonder if it's all the way down. Yeah, it looks it. Looks all the way down. So I got a bunch of dirt on the log right here. I can cut below this chunk, make sure I get below that. I get some going through this knot. At least paying attention to that's what separates us from the animals. So I want my cut to come in about here. I want it to get it below the dirt. Let's see how high that is. Kind of in here. That's like 16. Yeah, it's not a bad cut at all. I'm going to take it there. Let's take it at 16. Danny around. Oh, I see you. I see you, bud. Now we're starting to get to the point where we can start taking some adjustable blade guide out of it, too. The other good part about doing it this way is you almost guaranteed that any flitches that you take off at this point, you're going to have a flat side on. So that's a plus too. See how wide I am here. It's just over 12. I'm going to take one flitch off it. And drop down to 15. Looks like we're hitting our numbers pretty good here. So I'll leave myself one inch to true that one up on the other side. I'm plenty wide enough now this way. I should think I'm weighing free. So far everything's coming out great. Yeah, everything is coming out great. It's nice that those flitches have a flat side on them. This one's going to be a Bear to turn. Let's make sure I'm over 14 here. 13 and a half. Oh, 13 and a half. Um, I can't come to 14 yet. I don't know what that other side looks like. I don't want to do it yet. 
I think we'll just skin the top off. We only need four boards out of it for him, so it's the, the rest of them can be whatever. Now let's see if I can get the PD in it to be able to turn it. Okay. Let's see if we can get it turned. I'll tell you, I like this 90 degree thing a whole hell of a lot better. I'm going to get this thing turned kind of straight on the mill. Adjust my stops a little bit, I think. Yeah, it's a little crooked. I want to get this like that. I think that stop might actually have to come back. No, I'll just move this one over just a hair. And that is a game changer with a Norwood mill right there, guys, being able to do that. All right. Now, I know this doesn't look square because it's a, the cut here is going, that is angled. So I know it, it definitely doesn't look square to you guys. So I'm going to probably go 16, 15, 14, and then just rip some planks out of it. Once I figure out, looks like this side has got to have one slab taken off it. So 16, 15, 14, and then turn it. Cut it to 14. I'll be 14 by 14, and then I can just rip it like that. Okay, I'm not going to waste my time at 16. I'm just going to go to 15. And now we'll come back, we'll drop it to 14. We'll turn it on its side, cut it to 14, and cut on this plank side. So far, we did a good job. We're going to get rid of all the weight on this side when we cut these, this next plank. If there's any weight on this side, it won't matter. It'll be on the bottom. And there is a little bit there. Just a little bit. These are gorgeous. This is a gorgeous log right here, guys. So it should be 15 high the other way. I'm pretty, yeah, yeah. Sure, I am 15 high this way. That's why I'm using even numbers, guys. Oh, I'm 14 up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean 15 this way. Right. So I'm going to flip it on its side, cut this to 14, and then just keep cut, cut his four planks out, and that's going to do his order. And the question is, how the hell am I going to flip it now? The problem with flipping it like this is that you can't get the cant hook in it down there. Um... And I can't get it high. Maybe I can get it like this. I have to really, this would be a real man thing here if I can turn it like this. Oh, good. Good. Whoops. 
What happened? I'm on top of something. All right. So I am not going to take these all the way down. Oh, one fell down. So I'm going to take it down to like four. This one's probably already four. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, take it to 14. And then we're going to drop on true inch marks from there. We'll set our one inch scale. I'll do arithmetic. We got it. I'll just do mathematics. Uh, I'll probably set my end scale on 14. So let's go ahead to 14. That's where we're going to make our cut. I'll pull my one inch scale down to that just to be safe. Yeah, that'll work. All right. So we'll cut its four planks and I'll get you guys out of here. Uh, just the blade got one crank in. Give me a little bit more chance of some success here on flat cuts. Now we're going to get four clean boards. So the next one should be 12 and 7 eighths, I would imagine. Yep. That looks sick.
And that is probably going to do it for you guys. I'll show you the boards. I'm just going to take mine off the top. That will get turned into battens or boards for the shed door. Yeah, it's white pine so light. I imagine what's going to happen with this is that I'm going to take the 14 inch dimension. I'm going to cut it in half into seven inch boards. So I'm going to flip it on its side. Cut it in half. Then flip it back up and mill it out into seven inch boards, I think. Or I keep the I keep the camp the way it is. I got a lot of a material up here. So if you I need a lot of battens for the shed. So I've got a lot of material up here to use. Um so I do need to skin that shed door, but I only need 30 inches. So at seven wide, that would only be five planks and one would have to be ripped. So I'd probably put the rip one in the middle. So that's not many planks. So maybe I'll keep one half of it. Something's gonna end up being battens and that nine dimension works out great. if I wanted to cut it into threes a nine and a half. So here, I'll give you a look at the wood. Real pretty law, look at that. These are beautiful pieces. These will look great in the eaves. These are beautiful. They're gonna nice color. They're gonna stay this color under the eaves. They won't gray out. These are beautiful. So, I will get these stickered on top of his pile and I got to tabulate the board feet on them so I can add it to his total. Um, and then I will figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of that log off camera. I uh, don't see any reason to rush that right now. I can keep it right on the mill. That band's cutting beautiful. Um, and I can use it as I go to work on the door cut out what I need uh, and then when I start working on the battens I can start cutting out what I need as I go and that will be the weekend project is going to be to get that door on and to get the battens done so I can leave that cant right up there I can be done today I gotta sharpen a few bands and I just don't feel great so for myself and Danny who's way over the, between the Norway maple and the mill in the woods over there hunting something uh, for us and Ben Silver's roof, which now is completely cut out, uh, even with a little extra, because I calculated the board feed, I gave him a little bit extra. Um, this part solution's out.